Hello and welcome to leveling up your legendary lords. Uh, right now we have character one eye, and I'll tell you how I would level him up. So, as you can see, I have him already level forty, and we have thirty nine skill points. I am using a mod to have him instantly be level forty. And so we're just gonna go through this real quick. First point you will place into Gantro and Hoofs just to get that campaign movement range as will be for all of them. And then we are going to pick literally these four points that you need to go into Unholy Resistance and then Lightning Strike is your choice. But what I prefer to do is place three points into Blessed by Evil. For that, more magical items and plus battle loot, so that will pertain to even sieges. Ah, uh, so minor settlements, major settlements, all that stuff. Next point is literally what you want. I would highly not do siege holdout time because that doesn't matter. Once you get a siege attacker, you're not gonna sit there and siege down a place. I barely siege down a place. I'm pretty sure most people uh higher difficulties don't siege down settlements. As it is a bad and a waste of time for you to do. So sometimes I would like to place in Dark Apothecary. If I'm doing some raiding, I would place it into feasting upon men. But for that casualty replenishment that will last affect everything, I'll place it in Dark Apothecary. And then you get Unholy Resilience, and then Lightning Strike. Now, we spent about five, six, seven points. This tree doesn't unlock until level 12, so we're not going to be able to get Beast of Cunning. And we will not get Razor Core Chariot until level 12. You could probably buy Tusk Core Chariot if you feel like it, but I highly suggest don't Just keep them on foot. These will be unlocked. I would suggest doing melee defense and missile resistance and get slug skin. As these two points will one make your lord better and two make your army better because any missile resistance is good. Um, I believe. Anyways, we will keep on going. I can't tell when I'm like at level 12. I wish I had a mod to just level up single single points at a time so I know where I'm at. I would then go for the spread tree. Um, so for Perez, which is an interesting take, he if you look at what he does, he reduces bestial rage penalties, which doesn't matter at this moment. He gives Vanguard deployment for Beastagors, he gives Vanguard deployment for Razor Chariots, and enables poison attacks for all Ongor units. Now, this doesn't really help us decide what kind of army he's going to have. But, what will is actually nothing. I mean, we can look up to here. And this will show you, oh, maybe we should go with Ungor and Gore and Beast of Gore units. I would agree up to a point. He doesn't give that much to help them. If you look at it, it's actually very, very little. But what I would say to do is that he should probably have a Razor Gold Chariot army as he can increase he can't he can't increase them but he can give them Vanguard deployment which will help. But for the first three points in this tree, I would suggest throwing it into Ungor Raiders. As you're probably gonna use Ungor Raiders more times than anything else. Then with your three points left over, if this tree hasn't unlocked yet, you just go and place it in the Razor Gore Chariot units. Where 
he will up them. And then you can place it into this. And then into leave. It's yep, it's this one. Creatures of the herd. And there you go. You have upgraded Razorgors, and Carrick is gonna be your Razorgore Lord. Now, here's an thing you can also do is buy Beast of Cunning, buy Underfoot, as it will increase your reinforcement range for all characters. That means every single army on the battlefield will get that, which will help. Then I will suggest probably game Manslayer as Hellmaster isn't good. You could, instead of getting Manslayer, get Hordes of Dark Wolf as this will help you if you haven't gotten to that peak performance of Razorgore Chariots. There, right here. So, you could grab that, or Manslayer. I would actually think about it, probably go on Gores, because that Missile Strength will help you a lot more. And then, grab this. Which will give stock for Gores, Beast of Gores, Chaos Islands, Harpies, but that's not what you're gaining for. You're gaining for the re trigger loss reduction and Strider for the whole army. And if you have Strider, that will be applied to Razorgore Chariots, which then makes them allow to go through trees a lot faster. Of course, place them out on Razorgore Chariots. Give him Fuel by Blood, which will give your army even more reduction in vigor loss. Grab some of this, as it's not a big deal. You can forget about this, but I just grabbed this just in case. Grab Bloodlust, and grab Shadow Hide. On kind of senses, I would suggest trying to gain into the feel of not grabbing, as 10% magical resist isn't that big of a deal, and in Warhammer 3, will not be a big deal there. Now, you have technically 11 points to do free willy willy with so you can go down his melee tree but I would highly suggest not doing that I would suggest instead grabbing apocalyptic vision which will give you ability that will give you plus 24 melee attack which will be more than even heated by man will give you so it would be a better benefit to grab apocalyptic vision because it will also affect your allies or any units in range. Now for this, I would suggest since I would suggest this grabbing the ambush attack chance and defense chance and chance of intercepting armies using underway. That would be helpful. Then grabbing children of chaos, as this will give you more movement range. Gives you a free beast steel rage for one per turn. Uh increases your defense is against enemy heroes and gives a free rank to all units, which would be pretty good. Now, you're sitting here being like, well, I have six points left. And this is the point I would say, go here, grab two melee defense, grab two melee attack, and maybe throw this somewhere else. And this is like, honestly, the true free point where... You could have spent it to use a Tusk score Chariot to give Carrick's one eye that mounts just a little bit faster. Or you could throw into Uncanny Senses. Or you could throw into that. Or you could throw into maybe Mage Hunter. Or in, into anything else. Maybe you want more casualty management. Maybe you want a little bit more arm. Maybe you want to get fear and get that magic item with drop chances. The thing is, it's like you can literally place that point anywhere at this point. That is actually the true free point. Maybe, yeah, do a test score because you get that at, I think, level 5, and this is at level 12. But note that you're going to be at level 5. You're still working on your way to lightning strike, and you would want to get that lightning strike. All right, so that is for character 1 eye. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys learned something and how to level up your lords. I hope this video will help you in the future of you going to the higher difficulties. This has been me, Kelsey Drake, and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye